Well, this is a bit of a surprise. We're back again for yet another session of the uh, 52nd uh, Parliament. Um, Tuesday the 18th of August, we'll be here today and tomorrow and Tuesday and Wednesday of next week. Uh, we'll start off with uh, a ministerial statement. Um, in fact, an unusual one because it'll be in two parts, one part delivered by the Minister of Finance and one by the Minister of Health. There'll then be uh, two National Party members will reply um, and then we'll have uh, one New Zealand First, uh, one Green uh, and the ACT member uh, in response. We'll then go on to oral questions, uh, number one, and, and every oral question is about uh, COVID-19. So the first one uh, from James Shaw to the Minister of Finance uh, is about working people uh, who take leave. The second from Judith Collins to the Prime Minister uh, is uh, any information she's got as to how the latest outbreak got into Auckland. Greg O'Connor um, to the Minister of Finance about support for the New Zealand economy. Jerry Brownlee to the Minister of Housing um, about uh, the priority uh, for testing. Uh, Paul Goldsmith to the Minister of Finance about the cost to the economy. Uh, Kira Tapu Allen to the Minister of Education about support for young people in Auckland. Shane Retty to the Minister of Health uh, about testing at the border. Chris Bishop uh, to the Minister of Health um, about maritime transport um, and testing. Ron Mark to the Minister of Internal Affairs about uh, lottery funding uh, that's flowed out of uh, COVID-19. Uh, David Bennett uh, to the Minister for uh, Agriculture uh, about farmers uh, and crossing boundaries. Uh, Ginny Anderson to the Attorney General uh, about the uh, COVID-19 uh, Public Health Response Act and how that is working. Uh, after uh, questions are completed, uh, there will then be one government notice of motion from the Leader of the House uh, which will involve approving COVID-19 orders uh, which have been issued since the House last sat. Uh, that's likely to take us through to maybe half past four uh, and, and at that stage the House will adjourn uh, until tomorrow at two o'clock.